affordable, climate-friendly can slash your surging power bills and in the process help you do your bit for the environment. Yet, after nearly a decade-long campaign and a boom in the renewable energy market, rooftop solar is yet to become a popular choice for the majority of Indian households. However, a new government scheme intends to change that. Now, with a massive outlay of nearly 75,000 crore, this new nationwide scheme aims to install rooftop solar panels over 10 million households in the country. Now, if all goes as planned, this may also help the government to reach its long-drawn national target of attaining 40 gigawatts of rooftop solar capacity, which was initially a target for 2022 but has been extended to 2026. But this is going to be a gigantic task, considering we have just been able to install solar panels for just 7 to 8 lakh households since 2014, thus achieving an installation capacity of just 11 gigawatts in the last 8 years, which is not even half of the actual target. So what is it that the government plans to do? It has just announced a massive outlay of about 75,000 crore for this nationwide scheme. Now the target is to install solar panels on the rooftop of nearly 10 million households across states. So if you're interested, you can log into the national portal, which is pmsuryagar.gov.in and register for the rooftop solar. There'll be a technical feasibility study following which you'll select a local vendor to do the installation. The local discount will then inspect it and install a net meter which will allow the residential consumers who generate their own electricity from solar power to sell the surplus power back into the utility grid. And once everything is done, you can apply for the government subsidy. So for a middle income consumer, which may require about 3 kilowatt or solar plant, the cost would be about Rs 1.5 lakhs with a subsidy of about 54,000. Now this is good enough to run your TV, lights and fan, except of course the ACs. The initial cost still pinches the Indian consumers and they are still on the fence when it comes to opting for it. Plus the payback period is about 4 to 5 years. A lot of people complain about the lack of affordable finance options, cumbersome installation process and of course the lack of fairness uh, and of course the lack of awareness about the trusted vendors. So the government intends to make it easier and more lucrative by offering 300 units of free electricity every month. So the surplus solar power that you generate can be sold to the DISCOMs. Eventually help, it will eventually help you significantly save on your power bills. So the cost of power is set for the next 25 years, which is the standard life of the solar panels. So basically, for India to make this giant leap, the real challenge now is to inspire that confidence among the average middle income uh, consumers to invest in this new technology. A recent study led by CEW showed that more than half of the residential consumers across states are not fully aware of uh, the rooftop solar technology, which is impacting their willingness to pay. So the next few months, uh, the government will launch a massive awareness campaign across states urging people to adopt the sustainable form of power. At present, Gujarat, Maharashtra and Rajasthan have the highest rooftop installations in the country. The industry has been waiting long for its moment under the sun and if the bottlenecks are removed, it could be another bright spot in, the, in India's fast-growing renewable energy growth story.